After the 4th of July celebrations, Keep Tahoe Blue volunteers went straight to the beaches this morning to clean up what people left behind. But instead of picking up trash themselves, they have a new option, a robot to help them sift through the sand and pick up hard to spot trash. Alexandra Ray shows us what the Bebot robot can do to help keep Tahoe Blue. Keep Tahoe Blue volunteers are continuing to make sure that Tahoe beaches are pristine and safe for visitors and residents, especially after a holiday weekend where people leave trash behind. But they tested a new tool called the Bebot Robot to collect what debris may be left underneath the surface of the sand. And even though it looks beautiful, you might think, hey, there's no problem here. The beach is beautiful. Well, just below the sand or just below the surface of the water is still that litter that, that accidentally got left behind that we need to get out of here. Today they did a test sending out their volunteers to pick up trash around 500 square feet before the robot cleaned below the surface. What they found was an entire bucket of trash mist. Today was very, very nice because it wasn't a lot of clutter like you might suspect, but we still retrieved quite a bit of debris. And it just really proves the fact that um, you need more than just your traditional cleanups if we're going to keep Tahoe blue. Today, the Bebot robot is cleaning one to two inches underneath the sand, but it could go as deep as four inches underneath the surface. According to 10 years of data collection, what officials have noticed is less of the bigger items of trash and more of the smaller objects. A less volume, less weight, but more and more objects. And the objects we're finding are small, tiny things like microplastics, bottle caps, cigarette butts, all these things that are just out of sight. The robot is solar powered and electric and runs on tracks as it sifts through the sand. June 15th was the first time they gave the robot a try, and today Patterson says was only the second time it's ran on the entire West Coast. And we've been doing these cleanups now for 10 years with hundreds of volunteers who are kicking butt, keeping our beaches clean, but we're worried we're not getting it all. And if we don't get it off the beach now, it'll definitely end up in the lake here behind us. And even with a cleanup diving team, he says the trash is almost impossible to get out of the lake. They're hoping to prove the Bebot robot can be a staple to continue to keep Tahoe blue. Covering the story, Alexander Ray, 2 News. <laughs>